Hey there everybody, Decaf back again with uh, another <laughs> tutorial. Uh, we left off last time by inserting our tail logo here. And so today we're going to continue uh, by putting this tail logo actually onto the tail, making it so that it fits on there. And so what we're going to do uh, is we're going to have to split this up so that part of it will be attached to the the rudder itself and then another part will be attached to the tail and then we're also going to shrink wrap this model uh, this logo anyway to the tail and so this is going to be uh, maybe one or two uh, parts uh, to this video uh, we'll see how long this goes uh, so the first part here that we want to do is we want to get the part ready we want to get this all set so that all we have to do is move it in and shrink wrap it. So what we're going to do is we have our logo pretty far out here. What we're going to do is move it in. Now we're going to move it in fairly close but far enough away that we can uh, at a little angle here select all of them, all the parts in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to merge it with the vertical tail. So now we have this right there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure all the normals are going in the direction. That way everything's happy there. And it looks like we have to do a little bit of work there. And flip that normal as well. <clears throat> there we go. And this one as well. Okay. So now we are ready to begin. What we want to do is select all the faces here and cut so that uh, the uh, the logo will be perfectly cut right on the edge where the rudder meets the tail. So to do that, we're going to need to make an exact cut across all of these faces here. So I'm going to need to make sure that all of them are selected. So I took off the don't see through option, so I can see through everything. And that allows me to select everything within my loop. So now uh, I'm going to go to exact cut and I'm going to use the snap to vertex feature of the uh, exact cut tool which allows me to by pressing control select a vertex up there and then it'll automatically snap to that vertex and then come down here near this vertex hit control it'll automatically snap to that one <clears throat> all right so now I have my model there now I have one last thing that I need to do in order to get it ready, and that is to make a little crease on the leading edge. I'm going to switch back to the don't see through model, and you can see that right here, right on along this line, the model, the mesh uh, for the tail takes a sharper turn than the rest of this face. For the most part, this face is, you know, pretty much flat. So we're going to make a cut right along that line as well on this view. Gonna see if we even have to make it there. Nope. Looks like we're all set. Looks like we're in the clear. So what we're gonna do now is remove the uh, logo from the from this. So what we have to do is reselect all of the parts of the logo and then we're gonna press the P button. The P button allows us to separate all the selected items that we have. So now it's no longer a part of the tail mesh and it's now its own mesh. Now this got renamed to vertfin.1001. So what we're going to do is just rename this to uh, logo right and we're going to get rid of this parent feature. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Oops. Nope, we don't want to get rid of that parent feature. That was important. Didn't realize that at the time. Uh, sometimes you can get rid of it, sometimes you want to keep that. So we're going to go into edit mode here. And for all the parts that are over here, uh, to the aft side of this uh, line that we made, the cut that we made, we're going to select all those parts and separate them.
There we go. Working, working, working. There we go. A little tip there. And it looks like we got everything. So we're going to go ahead and press P there to separate that. So now what we have is a part for the leading edge, and we have another part for the trailing it, for the rudder. So we're going to move these in a little bit closer. Going to bring them in to about there, just so they're nice and close in. And what we're going to do is shrink wrap them to the, uh, the tail here. So on this first one, on the leading edge one, I'm going to go over here and click Add Modifier and select Shrink Wrap. This opens up the Shrink Wrap dialog. And what we have to do is tell it what we're shrink wrapping around. So we're shrink wrapping around Vert Fin. Press Enter. And now it looks kind of funny. So what we have to do is we have to give it an offset to tell it to come out to the point where it's okay to say. So we'll go 5, 0 0.05 out. Now we'll go in and try to work with these guys, see what we can do to bring these out. There we go. And it just takes a little bit of touch up and you can make a very, very nice model. So now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to add modify. Well, first we got to see what this is. This is called rud underscore off. So we're going to do the add modifier. Shrink wrap. Rud off. And now we're going to offset that enough. 2.05 again, so we match up. And we'll hit apply. Now notice that we have a little gap here. So what we're going to do is try to take care of that gap right now. And it's going to take just a little bit of fiddling. There we go. Move that there. But one thing that we got to notice here is that it's mostly the uh, vertical fin side of it. So this is the one, the forward one, is the one we're going to need to move in. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of the vertices here and bring them down so they just overlap. Alright. So now we've got these guys here. We're going to bring them out just a little bit to compensate. There we go. Go back into this view and bring them on over. Bring the yellow over. So as you can see, this takes a little bit of touch up to get right. But that's okay. We're trying to get uh, this model to look nice. Out. There we go, grab that one. So now we get a little bit of touch up work left over. I'm going to bring the tips of these little feathers out just so they sneak past the yellow. And we're also going to drag them backwards. There. 
now we get to work on these guys here. So this is a pretty involved process trying to get all these things straightened out and into the right positions, but it is well worth the effort that it takes. Move these guys up a little bit. Move them out a little. Down a little, there we go. And these guys here. Bring them on over. Bring them out just a little. There we go. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Now, what we need to do, oops, forgot this last little bit down there. You gotta be really careful with these things. They can be very tricky. Alrighty. So now we have to make it so that our tail logo will actually stay with the rudder. So what we're going to do is we're going to join the two objects together. And then we're going to join this tail logo onto our vertical fin. And that just secures them in the right position. So now if we cycle through the animations going up, and we can see now the tail goes with the, the logo goes with the animation. So uh, that's how you go ahead and shrink wrap these logos on. Yeah, it can be a little tricky to get them in right, but once you do, uh, it'll work out better. Uh, I'll make another video uh, going over shrink wrapping in a little bit more detail uh, to show you guys some other things about it that aren't quite as specific to what we're doing here. So uh, I hope this is useful. Uh, as always, leave me a uh, comment down below if you got a question. I'll do my best to answer it. Happy morning.